Hi guys, this is Andy with Florida Gun Supply. I There's been a lot of controversy going around about the uh, drive-by shooting that happened at the Inverness Applebee's on Thursday night. A friend of mine had her truck shot up along with uh, another person's car in a drive-by shooting in Inverness. And there have been a lot of people saying that that didn't happen. Now, I think for the most part, most of those rumors have been squashed, uh, but I am here to show you the video that we've acquired thanks to the awesome people over there at Power Security right across the street who reached out to Florida Gun Supply saying, hey, we've got video cameras that point right at Applebee's, and we spent hours combing through the security footage, uh, and this is what we came out with. Uh, 1.45 in the morning. I'm going to go ahead and just play the video for you um, as you're, you know, as you're sitting. It's about 15 seconds until the shooting, uh, just a normal night. You're going to see a car drive by right on Route 44, and then that's when the action happens. So uh, there's that car. Then up in the left-hand side of your screen, you see two trucks just making a left and slowly driving by Applebee's. Now, that was it, that was the shooting. And now I know that you're like, what the heck did I possibly just watch? I get that that's what you're thinking, uh, but that is what happened. So now we're zooming in on the upper left-hand corner of the screen, and it's again about 15 seconds until the shooting. We've got the car that's gonna drive by right across 44 to the right of our screen here, and then we're gonna see the two trucks uh, take a left onto uh, the road next to Applebee's. Now I'm going to slow it down even more right here just to show you both trucks. Uh, truck number one is coming around the corner. I'm not entirely sure if that one's shooting as well or not, um, but take a look at truck number two. I'm slowing it down literally frame by frame. There you see just a flash coming out of the side of the window. Now I've got the video zoomed into 658 magnification and 5% the original speed. Take a look. You can see just little bursts of light as the trigger is being pulled and the muzzle is moving around in an uncontrolled fashion. Now we're down to uh, literally 778% zoomed in, 2% speed. Take a look. You can see each individual flash may be uh, each pull of a trigger, uh, but you're definitely seeing uh, some uncontrolled uh, firing from this vehicle. Um, this is the classic drive-by shooting. So for those of you who are not uh, believing that this was a drive-by shooting, this really did happen in Inverness. And the only reason it matters, the only reason we're spending time talking about it is because we need to know what's going on in our community. We need to know what's going on in our country. And I suggest you take steps to protect yourself against people that would wish to do you harm. Now, nobody in this particular situation got hurt. Only a couple of vehicles were injured, but had those vehicles not been there, it is very likely that somebody sitting out front of Applebee's would have been harmed. Now, I'm not sure why there's so many rumors abounding about this particular topic. I don't care. What I do care is that people that are uh, finding this to be somewhat disturbing, that this would happen in our safe community here in Citrus County, I do suggest you take steps to take our free concealed carry class. You can find out all the information at www.fgstraining.com. This is Andy with Florida Gun Supply. Get armed, get trained, carry daily, and long live the Republic.